Hey guys, so today we are training lower body and just an update on how the cut's going. We are down 28 pounds. So the goal was 30. So we're just right, like literally almost right there. But um, when you see me, you know, I guess full body and stuff like, or maybe when we do the posing, um, it's just so funny. Cause like, I feel like, I feel like my body should look leaner than what it is and who knows if it's just me but it just really like I guess tells me that my body was carrying a lot of fat because I feel like I look decent but nothing crazy you know we're not looking that lean like I I, I feel but like compared to how I was before yes there is a difference but I guess I'm just bumped because I feel like for me to see that leanness like okay let's just point this out like you know we don't see like the shoulders like you know really cut or anything and i feel like to even see that and we might have to go down another like 10 pounds or even 15 i don't know and i guess that like kind of bums me out but i guess i'm still wavering on like how much more i want to lose because i told you guys too like the scale is just like a number it's just a tool and I'm going more about like the look that I'm going for. And I feel like that's just, you know, something I'm just kind of like, mm, I'm just thinking about because I don't think I want to have the cut go much longer. So like I said, we might just stop at the end of this month and we'll see how far we get. And realistically, you know, that might be like eight more pounds, realistically. So we might just be, sitting where exactly where I want to be. Um, visually, I'm not sure how that's going to look like, but I am just taking in or learning from this experience. Cause like I told you guys, so if you're doing a bulk, don't go too crazy cause you don't need to. And you know, the studies show that you don't, you just need to be somewhat in a surplus to gain muscle, but you know, I'm not going to go into that, but I guess I'm saying like, I'm learning that my surplus was or a liter like just too much and it's making the cut harder for me so like you know just kind of like making things easier for myself I need to realize you know even when I'm bulking it shouldn't be that extreme so just taken away from that and that's all I can do but I was gonna say something else hmm oh I guess also I just like always want to be realistic too and it's just funny to me because I had posted me flexing on a TikTok and just got like this mean comment, like saying, oh, it's just lighting. You don't even have any mass on you or anything. And, and I, and you know, the first, my first reaction was like, I laughed at that because I'm like, yeah, I feel like that because, you know, us doing this cut, like, I feel like, you know, there isn't any like, um, thickness or anything. Like I just feel flat. But I also just thought, I'm like, well, I mean, also he brings up a good point as in like, yeah, lighting does a lot. Like, that's why I joke around, like lighting can look like magic sometimes. And, you know, we don't all, it's, I guess I'm saying like social media or whatever. And if you look at someone, you're just like, oh my gosh, they look crazy. Like sometimes, yeah, it's good lighting or whatever. But I guess I just don't want it to ever bring someone else down because also like my last video, like when I was talking about, you know, just people feeling like the goal that they want is like, seems like so unrealistic. And there's so many factors that can come into that. So I guess at the end of the day is just like, I, like, I guess I'm saying like everyone has a different journey and headspace and we don't know where those people are and, but you know where you're at. And so I just hope that you're taking the steps to like, whatever that is to mentally you know, get closer to your goals in a more positive way and not like beat yourself up about it. Um, because I mean, it took me a long time to get there because like, for instance, you know, someone saying that mean comment, I could have like, let it like, I guess, make me sad or, you know, hurt me. But I laughed at it because I kind of feel the same way, like that what they said. And because I don't know, like sometimes too, it's like you're, you know, no one has that power over you of like what they say isn't true. You know, like that's, that's what they think and that's fine. Um, so I guess I just really want the people that feel a certain way, like when they look at someone and it brings them down and they're just like, man, like they look so buff or, you know, all that stuff. Like I just 
don't ever want you guys to feel that because I guess in a way like I can feel that way too because I feel like I <laughs> I feel, and I mean, that's what I was talking about in the beginning. Like, I just feel like, wow, like I look like this and you know, we're like almost 30 pounds down and I don't even feel like I, my body looks anything impressive. And I was already like, you know, putting a goal in my head, like, oh, it's going to look like this because of, yeah, the people we see on social media. And I'm just like, oh, like I'm going to have really nice, like cap shoulders and like biceps are going to be popping out like crazy and yeah, making unrealistic, like visual goals for myself. <laughs> Yeah, and so that's just funny that I'm realizing that, but, um, you know, and if I'm saying that to you guys, I should probably take that to consideration. Like, we should just be proud of, like, how far our physiques have gone, how we perform in the gym, and just be so happy about that and learn from it. So, you know, for me to go approach it, you know, the next time is going to be a little, a little better for myself because I'm going to set myself up that it's not going to be as difficult and I want you guys to do the same for yourself. If that is something that you feel like you're also struggling with when you do a bulk or a cut, like what, it, what is it that you need to do to make it easier for yourself? And also realize that don't, don't get so down on yourself if you're comparing yourself and then you look at yourself and you're just like, geez, like I don't look like that. Like what's going on? What's wrong with me and stuff? Because I also feel that way too. Like, I'm just like, man, like I don't look anything impressive and I thought I would. Like, you know, like literally saying 30 pounds, yeah, I'm gonna look crazy, you know, or something. Like I'm gonna see my biceps popping out and, and yeah, and it's just funny how that's not what it is right now. And, and that's the thing too. It's just like, I, I'm still proud of how far I've come and I don't want that to be taken away just because I'm, com you know, like, what do they say? comparison is a thief of joy or something like that but um yeah like we should be proud of how far we've come and me doing this cut and me you know restricting calories for myself like I'm kind of I guess proud of how I'm approaching it because I mean let's be honest when you eat a really yummy food like it kind of makes you like you know, happy because it's like, you know, food does that. Like it gets you all like, oof, like this was such a good meal or something. And me realizing like, yeah, I'm not gonna get that because I'm not eating, you know, yummy foods, like technically. Um, and kind of, I don't know if anything, it's kind of like, a, I don't even know if the word is, but cleansing, because it's like you mentally try to find joy in other things because if something's taken away from you, you're just like, okay, well, just kind of have to face that and look for it in other things. So me realizing like, okay, this brings me joy and accepting that. And I feel like the joys that I'm focusing on are not like that fast satisfaction like you get with like food. Like, you know, it's that like, oof, like you're just like, you know, and I know this makes sense to someone. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, well, we're not getting that because we're not eating, you know, f yummy foods. I'm like finding my joy in other things. And it's kind of making me realize what actually does bring me happiness and what does make me happy. And it's funny because I find myself realizing I, I'm not putting enough of those things in my life. And it's making me really reflect. And I'm just like, huh, like I really want my life to be filled more with things I enjoy and make me happy. And I think that's the thing too, is just like, I know with this type of, you know, world we live in, like it's like those fast satisfactions and stuff. And it's funny cause I also don't even find myself like looking at my phone much or grabbing it because I'm more wanting to be in the moment and understanding how I'm feeling. And I don't know, it's just different. So I'm kind of like embracing how this is feeling in a way. And yeah, and if anyone gets what I'm saying, tell me in the comments, cause I feel like I wanted to s express that to you guys, but then I'm just like, I don't know if I'm making any sense though, but it, it may make sense to someone. So I, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. But um, other than that, I don't know if I already told you guys that it's all like 117 degrees outside. <laughs> So, you know, we're just gonna see how the gym goes. I mean, obviously like at, at the gym, they don't have it hot, but um, we'll see how it goes. And we, yeah, I'm hoping for a good workout. I, I know leg days can be kind of uh, mentally challenging for me. So 
we're just going to do our best and get the most out of it. And that's been helping me just mentally telling myself that, like, you know, just do your best. Like, you know, instead of like, I don't know, putting these unrealistic expectations, because when we leave the gym, as long as I did my best, like what my body was capable of, then yeah, I'm going to be happy with myself. And, you know, when I think we all know what that is for ourselves. And it's nice to know that, you know, like, because let's say you're, you know, we're working out with someone and they're just like, oh yeah, like I can tell you're really pushing yourself, but it's like, it's, I feel like it's more satisfying when you know you did, you know? And so, cause you're doing this for you. And, um, I just, yeah, love leaving the gym knowing, yes, I gave my all. And same with like, you know, you giving that to yourself also, realizing that no one can take that away from you either. Like no one can tell you, you didn't try your best. Like, you know, whatever all these people say, you know, good or bad, just realize at the end of the day, what you tell yourself, that's what matters. And how you feel about yourself, that's what matters. So let's go ahead and get in there. I'll, I'll see you guys at the gym and yeah, we'll get started with calves first. Okay, first set of calves. Honestly, wait, this isn't the first set. This is the first clip, but um, this is actually my second to last. But we're using both. Last time I was using single just to like feel it out. But I don't know, sometimes it's nice to use both because then you can also compare like how this one's moving compared to the one you feel like is your struggling one and just kind of focus on, okay, why does that feel weirder? Like different. And I'm noticing that on my good one, my big toe really has a nice grip on the, you know, platform but then my left kind of doesn't so I'm really trying to focus on that I know you guys can't see my toes but you know you can feel out your own toes and see how that works so let's go ahead yeah. Bye. Okay. We'll do leg curls or leg extensions, whatever is open. But I'm really hoping I see some growth in my calves. I just feel like they're kind of have that same feeling how I, I said my triceps felt. Like I would do the movement, but I felt like they should feel more intense, you know? And so I feel like that's the same way of with my calves because there are some times where I feel like my calves are like burning, but I'm like, I should feel like that like all the time or, you know, at least more times than not. So I'm trying to figure it out, but I, I like doing it this one because it's more stable and it kind of really helps me focus. And this one is the best for me right now and where I feel it the most. So I'll go ahead and do one more and I'll see you guys in the next lift. Okay, these are feeling pretty heavy. Oh, but you know, it's one of those things like when you're bulking or cutting, you don't necessarily fix out fixate on the weight but more of like pushing your body and that's what we just need to focus on so yes maybe they, it feels a little heavy but we're pushing ourselves and we need to be proud of that so we'll go ahead and do the last set Ah. Okay, I'm glad that we got this machine first because I like doing this before we do either the leg press or hack squats because we, we'll do this and then we'll do leg curls. And I like that, it gives it a little bit of a break for your quads. 
But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on and do some leg curls. Okay, so I lowered the weight a little bit. This machine's acting a little funny because the set I did before, uh, or my first set, it felt pretty easy. So I'm like, okay, let me add some weight. I only added like five pounds and then it felt dramatically heavier. So I just lowered the weight a little bit. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's the machine. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how this set feels. Ooh. Okay, well, glad that I did lower the weight because I think I wouldn't have been able to do like full reps with heavier weight, but uh, those felt good. And now we'll go on to the hard part. So <laughs> I'll see you guys over there. Okay, guys, I have to be honest, I'm not being very nice to myself today. <sighs> I did my first set of these and they were hard. And my first thoughts were, why are you so weak? And, you know, just some mean things, you know, and I was kind of sad because I'm like, why am I being so mean to myself? So all you can do is first acknowledge it. <laughs> and then, you know, just realize you're giving your best. And, you know, because I, I don't want to continue that, you know, I don't want it to like bum out the rest of my workout because it was funny because I was saying like, I want to do things I enjoy more and me working out, I enjoy it. Like I look forward to coming to the gym and working out. So that also has to do with how I talk to myself here because how are you going to enjoy something when you're being mean to yourself? So I need to remind myself I'm doing my best with what my body's capable of right now. And I should be happy with that. So we did lower the weight and I'm going to see how this set heals. So yeah, let's go ahead and get going. And it's funny, I actually realized I'm, a, I'm on the last notch of this belt. I don't even know what size this belt is, but I do have another one. So we might just have to grab the other belt next time. Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's make it a good set, no matter what, what happens. Okay, I'm going to do another set because that first set I told you guys wasn't too great. So I'm going to do another one and I'm feeling a little better mentally and physically because I said I was proud of that set. And I think that's the thing too, is you have to work out the way you know you're going to be happy with at the end of it. You know, because you know what that looks like, but also be realistic with yourself and not be so hard on yourself. So, you know, and it's going to be a continuous thing. It, I guess I'm saying from experience. So it doesn't mean it can't change though, because I am feeling mentally more proud of myself and better because, you know, you just acknowledge when you're spiraling and, you know, it's okay to feel those feelings and then 
see what you can work with. So I'll go ahead and do one more, but I'll see you guys for hip thrusts. All right, this is my last set. And then we'll do some posing and then I have some cardio. <laughs> okay. You guys remember when I used to do three plates on each slide? I don't know how I did that, but uh, these two are filling just right for uh, the set. And also make sure your feet are pointed out. It's gonna really help activate those glutes. Oh. Let's go. Oh. I still prefer the Smith machine, but you know, these are fine, which is funny, but, um, okay, let's go do some posing. I'm gonna have to catch my breath because I want to really make sure we have a good posing session because I actually haven't recorded for a week and with me not recording, I don't pose and honestly, I'm kind of bummed that I don't do that because it does help me you know, like keep myself accountable on practicing my posing. So let's go ahead and jump to that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get some posing. I actually feel pretty good, so we're fine. All right, why am I forgetting how to flex my quads? Hold on, give me a sec. I think I'm thinking about it too much. Cause remember how I told you guys, like they say to tilt your hips back when you pose instead of like, just pose like that. So I'm overthinking it now. Okay. Let's see. Oh. We will try the hamstring pose, but this one's my most trickiest. Yeah, this one's tricky. Kind of forgetting what else to do. We can, oh, we can try the vacuum because this, this body suit's pretty tight. Kind of gives that illusion. Okay, I don't know if that looked really weird or I don't know, because I haven't been practicing, so that's on me. But we'll just do a few more. Ooh. Okay, guys, that might be all I have in me. I'm trying to do. Mm. 
Might as well just practice, I guess, a few things. Whew. Took the air out of me. Um, okay, that might be it. I think we should call it there and then I'll do my cardio and then I'll see you guys after that. Uh, so some days have passed by, just like a couple, just two days. So I'm actually getting ready to head to the gym to work out um, shoulders, chest, and biceps. But I wanted to say goodbye because I don't like just like cutting the video like that for you guys. But I guess I'm just like wondering if I want to like touch on a little bit more of like what I was talking about in the beginning. Oh, let me. I was listening to... Uh, Dr. K. Um, let me see what he what the name is on uh, on his YouTube. Healthy Gamer GG, <laughs> and maybe some people know him because uh, he's like a Twitch streamer. And but he also like just he's a I think a psychiatrist or I mean, anyways, like he just has really I really like the topics he talks about, and it was funny because I was listening to him. Yeah, this morning before, you know, getting ready for the gym. And he was talking about a quarter life crisis and like what that means, what that looks like, how that can play out. And honestly, I was relating to that so much. And I was just like, hmm. <laughs> and I think that's like the weird part is because like me going through this cut. And also I feel like, I mean, <laughs> it almost does feel like right now in my life, I do feel like I'm going through that because the way he was describing it is like sometimes, and, and that's why I think I may have to think about it some more because, you know, when we do go through a cut, we do feel like we're just going through the motions and feeling a little bit like a zombie because we're just such in a deficit. And so I was like, I have been feeling that way for a little bit, but I also feel like the way he was describing um, a quarter life crisis is like, yeah, like you also feel like you're just going through the motions through like life. And I kind of was feeling that way too. And also with like, I don't know why, but uh, with my age, I feel like I need to have the answers now of like, where is my life going? Where is my life now? And been honestly putting a lot of pressure on myself. Um, so it's not been you know, nice. I haven't been feeling like relieved or anything because I'm just like putting the stress on myself. And I don't know if there's people that can relate because I know that um, it's more male audience than female audience. But I mean, I want to share it anyways, just in case it does relate to someone. But uh, with me turning 30, you know, in January, it'll be a while, but still like just me knowing like, oh, wow, I'm going to be leaving my 20s. <laughs> and then also with me getting married soon and, and just kind of feeling like, wow, like <sighs> I have been having the thought of like, yeah, like I do want to start a family. I do want to have kids. And then I'm like, also when I say that, I'm like excited, but also scared because then I'm like, wait, how's my life going to look? Because I feel like I need to have it all figured out before I have kids, before, you know, this big, you know, milestone and all that stuff. And I'm like stressing myself out and almost just going through the motions and not really getting anything done. And I mean, me listening to him just is helping me just acknowledge my thoughts, my feelings. But I also feel like I don't really have the answers. But, you know, I feel like that's also maybe okay because I feel like, you know, we feel like we need to find the answers. And, and I feel like a lot of the times in life we're never going to have the exact answer. And when he was talking about it, he was saying that, yeah, the steps that people take, they feel guilty for going through the motions. But he was explaining, like, sometimes that's a good thing because then you become so... Like you're, you're kind of like, I don't want to keep living like this. Like it, it builds that, you know, momentum you need to make that change. And that's why I'm just like, hmm, like I've obviously I'm like, I feel like I need, I've been going through the motions, but I think I need that more of momentum to really make a big change because I've been doing little steps and, and see, this is why I get so overwhelmed because I'm just like, well, isn't it okay to do little steps at a time? But then realizing like, okay, well, I don't know. Like, is this, do I need to make another like huge, I, and see, I'm, I'm honestly feeling kind of like a little lost. Um, 
and <laughs> see, I honestly didn't even want to like share it because I didn't know if that would make any sense. But I feel like there's a lot of people actually in my age group, like the analytics show me that, you know, maybe there's other people that feel this way because we're at that age that it's like, you need to have your life figured out. And then you kind of question, do I though? Because do I want to like, is this, if I do have it figured out, this is how I'm going to be feeling the rest of my life. Like, I don't know. And so just a lot of those thoughts, um, and I guess, yeah, I'm wanting to figure it out so so fast and so much that I am not getting any answers because I'm putting too much pressure on myself. And that's why, too, that's why I'm like, I feel like I am trying to acknowledge, like, okay, well, how can I see my life? What do I want to be doing day to day? And, you know, what can I see myself being, like, feeling happy and proud of? And, yeah, so it, it's just a lot that probably comes with that whole topic, but yeah. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's end it there because I do need to get ready to head to the gym and start the next video. So if anyone has any thoughts about that um, and like to share them with me in the comments, I, I would really appreciate it. I do love hearing your guys' perspectives and your experiences with, you know, how things have been and what you've acknowledged, you know, yourself. So anyways, thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in the next video.